Hey Stitches, I'm Sam Cole and in today's video we are reading the Elements of Cadence duology. Um, I have been eyeballing and ogling these covers for so long. I know these books aren't new, they used to have different covers, but I saw these and it like took my breath away and I had to read them. So I don't know a ton about it. Basically what I, I know that uh, Sarah Crowley read the first one and she didn't love it, just said that it was um, pretty slow paced for her and she described it as more like a folk fantasy um which didn't appeal to her but it sounded really good to me so i decided i needed to pick it up and then the second one just came out in paperback with this beautiful cover so i figured it was the perfect time so basically what i know is that it's about this guy who used to live on the island but he got shipped off to the mainland when he was young to learn how to be a bard and he's under the impression that his family like didn't like him because he's a bastard and and he had like a rivalry with the heiress of their clan but um after like 10 years or something i think that he gets a letter from leader basically telling him to come back as soon as possible and to bring his harp and it turns out that the little girls of the island are going missing and they need his help to sing to the spirits and hope that they'll bring the girls back or help them or know where they are so yeah it sounds really good to me I'm super excited but let's get into it besties so i finished where is it finished a river enchanted last night oh my gosh <laughs> i i don't even know if i have the words to describe how good this was it was just beautiful i really it was definitely a slower paced read just because like it's so lyrical like it it's not as like passive of a read if that makes sense like i have to like you know pay attention to it but it's so good and the ending i have no words to be honest i wanted to immediately dive into the second one but i was so tired and needed to go to bed so i'm gonna start a fire endless today and see how far i can get um i think it's a little bit longer is that correct 494 it's like 30 pages longer so they're pretty much the same length but i mean look at these covers dude are these not just stunning dude just so good so yeah i'm gonna get into this see what's happening it's just like a like gloomy cozy day today um tucker's staying home because he's sick um I think just like allergies, maybe like a cold or something from the weather. Maxie's here too. Being a little sleepy boy. So I think we're just gonna vibe, try and get some reading done um, and just rest. It's kind of been a stressful couple of weeks um, just with some family stuff going on. So yeah, let's just take some time to rest.
stitches so it's the next day and I just I've been reading a little bit this morning I've probably gotten about like 50 pages through um and I just got to part three which is a song for for Kindle how do you say that kindling I just got to part three, which is a song for kindling, and it's getting really intense and really good. I'm really nervous to see where this is gonna go, but I've only like fallen more in love with this world, and I think it's pretty interesting. I think I said this earlier, but I don't know that I've really read maybe any other duologies, um, but recently I've been gravitating towards them more um, because I've always been someone that prefers series, um, especially, well, with reading fantasy, I feel like a lot of fantasy worlds are series just based on like creating a whole world that you can just build stories off of but this duology has really caught my attention obviously and then the one dark window and two T twisted crowns duology that i'm going to read next um also caught my attention so yeah it's just interesting it doesn't really like mean anything but yeah so i'm going to try and get as much of this done today as possible i have about like 220 pages left so a decent amount this one's pretty long um but yeah i'm wearing my sucker for smut shirt from cat's curio corner um i'll link them down below her stuff is amazing um i absolutely love it i have this and i got her bookish witch um sweatshirt that i think i wore earlier or i'm sure i'll wear it again um but yeah let's get to reading <laughs> Well, that makes things a lot more complicated. Okay, so I thought I would wrap up and give my final thoughts for this video because I realized that I never did that for A Fire Endless, but it was so good. I was a little, um, I've never read a duology before. I'm more of a series person just because I love staying in the worlds longer, you know? I don't like to let go, but I thought it was so amazing and I really wasn't sure how she was gonna wrap it up. I felt I wasn't sure how a duology was gonna feel complete, but she really managed to do that and it really like blew me away, honestly. I honestly don't even know which one I like more. I think A Fire Endless just because you already know the characters and love them, but they, they're both so good. Um, they are a little bit more slower paced than like a typical modern fantasy but I think that if you really enjoy like folk tales or even like Greek mythology those type of stories I think you would really like it um they're definitely not as like slow paced as that um and obviously they're modern but the language is very ly lyrical and there's a really heavy emphasis on like the spirits and the spirits are almost additional characters to the story rather than it just being the gods i don't know it was really cool and i really loved seeing that representation um and these stories are based in like scottish mythology which i thought was really cool because i haven't had a ton of experience with that like i grew up um 
reading a ton of like Greek retellings and stuff like that and recently I've gotten more into like Norse mythology with like the new God of War games or stuff like that. It was really 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 good. Um, I fell in love with all the characters. I felt like they were all so perfectly human. Like a lot of the times they weren't perfect and they would make mistakes or they would do things that's like ah, oh, like just talk to each other. I think that made it all the better because it felt real. Um, it really felt like I could go to this island to Cadence and live it. It was that amazing. So yeah, I Rebecca Ross has definitely become one of my new favorite authors. Um, I know that everyone loves Divine Rivals. I have I have purchased it, but I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. I think I'm going to wait until um, the sequel comes out because that's going to be another duology, I think. I really had so much fun. I think that this is one of my new all-time favorite like fantasy worlds and it makes me want to read more like folk fantasy. So if you have any recommendations for that, please let me know because I'm not really familiar with a lot of them. I think that this is definitely a five star series. I think they're both five stars and I honestly like want to read it again. I want to read everything that she's written. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that fun YouTube stuff for the algorithm gods and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Love ya! Bye!